Hey loves, welcome back to my page. I am back to do another video. I am super excited. I have been wanting to do this video for a very long time, but I feel right now is just the perfect time for me to do it. If you guys do not know, I have a nine month year old and also a three year old going on 33. But anyhow, um, I have been working for about a few months, maybe almost four months and going to school and I've been in school for over a, like maybe a year and a half and I wanted to do a video on mommy tips how to balance work life your um your household duties um how to deal with your husband balance everything all in one um I know for a fact I am not the only one who does all this stuff, and but I wanted to share with you guys what I do to be sane, you guys. Be sane, because to be honest with you, when you're juggling all this stuff, sometimes you're just, you don't know if you're coming or going. So let me jump right into it. The first thing that I do, I have a routine or a or slash schedule. My routine is pretty much, I do the exact same thing every single day. With an exception, if, if I have to go somewhere, um, I have a doctor's appointment, me or my children or something in the morning or in the evening, it's pretty much overall my schedule is the same. So I'm going to try my best to insert it so you guys can see what I do on every single day and like the time slots and everything, okay? Two, I always suggest have some me time. It can be after you lay your kids down, go have, do a bubble bath. What I do for my, my me time for like 15, 20 minutes when I lay them down, I do watch a little bit of YouTube because you know I love it. <laughs> so I'm watching YouTube. I'm, uh, after that, I may take a little a shower and just do my homework. So it just really, really depends. Whatever you like to do, for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, definitely do it because that makes you feel so much better about yourself because it's like, it's just me time. You need that for, for being a mother. You definitely need some me time. Three is have your husband, your husband or whoever you have to help, help you because at the end of the day, you cannot do everything yourself. I feel I am truly blessed because my husband helps with me a lot. Um, the good thing that I do like one time out of the week, he helps with my kids as far as us teaching. My, um, my three-year-old, um, I feel this way. I feel that it's not only the mother's job to teach the kids. I think the husband should have, have his hand into it too. Because, um, we'll just take turns every other day or if he do it for a week or I'll do it for a week. But we both help my uh, my my kids and their learning process. Number f number 4 is it's okay not to be perfect, meaning if it's a dish in that sink, leave it in there. If you're tired, you don't have to do it. You don't have to be perfect. You know, the only perfect person is Jesus. So therefore, leave it in there and you can do it the next day. And it's okay, you know what I mean? It's really really okay. So it's sometimes you just need to learn how to say no, I'll do it the next day or I'll do it in a few hours when I'm up to do five. Have a calendar. Here's my calendar. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I use this religiously. I put all my I'm sorry, you guys, it's a little bit loud back there. My um, my kids are playing. But anyhow, my calendar, I put all my bills inside here. If I have an appointment appointment for my kids, I put it inside here so I will know to do it. So definitely Grab a calendar. You can go to the Dollar Tree. It's a six multitask. That is very, very, very important. So when, if I'm washing dishes, I'm washing clothes too. If I'm watching TV, I'm folding clothes. I'm doing something. I'm multitasking. Tasking at the end of the day, the faster you do it, the faster you can relax. <laughs> so definitely here is my tips that I do. Um, you guys share with me some tips that you guys do. I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button right. You guys have a blessed day, evening, or night. I love you guys.